Hello friends, welcome to another edition of Java Learning. In today's session, we are going to learn about the string function compared to. The compared to function compares two strings lexicographically, that is dictionary order. The comparison is based on the Unicode value of each character in the strings. If string 1 and string 2 if they are the same then it will return 0. There are three possibilities either it will return 0 a positive number or a negative number. So when both the strings are equal they are returning I mean the function is returning 0. Then if string 1 is less than string 2 then it will return what a negative value and what would be the answer negative what what value that is the difference between the unicode okay we will see with the help of an example and the third possibility is what the positive value when it will give a positive value if string 1 is more than string 2 then it returns a positive value that is the difference between the characters compared and their unicode difference the syntax for compared to is string1 dot compared to string2 let us compare cat and can now when these two are compared these two strings are compared it will return a value that is a positive value a negative value or a zero therefore it is finally returning an integer that is the reason I have taken a variable result and the data type is int. Now let us compare lexographically character by character. You have C here for the first string, C for the second string also, A here, A. Now here it is differing T and A, T and N. T has the Unicode of 116 and N's uh, Unicode is what? 110. Therefore, the first string is more if, you know, 116 is more than 1110. So, if string 1 is more than string 2, it will return a positive value. Okay. So, what positive value I told you? The Unicode difference. 116 minus 110 will give you what 6 so that will be stored in result so when you print result what will be printed 6 similarly the same thing if you just bring string 2 here and string 1 on the other side so you are comparing can with cat c c a a now here you have n and t n has got you know 110 and T has got what? 116. Uh, Therefore, the first string is what? Less. If string 1 is less than string 2, it will return a negative value. So, in this case, it will return minus 6. This is actually the table for Unicode characters for uppercase that is 65 to 90 lowercase 97 to 112 digits 0 to 9 48 to 57 and for space bar it is 32 now the third possibility is what if both the strings are equal according to unicode c is what here c you have for the second string you have c a a t t so both the strings are equal therefore it is returning what zero zero is getting stored in result and you are printing result then you are getting zero let us understand uh, this particular thing with the help of a table the first string is here the second string is here and the ASCII or the unicode i have written here for C it is 99, for A it is 97 and for small t it is 116. 
Similarly, I have written for C that is 99, for A 97 and uh, for N it is 110. So you are comparing this string with this string. So this string is more, or the first string is more. So in this case 116 minus 110 is equal to 6. Now let us take the second possibility. The first string now is can and the second string now is cat. So here it is differing. 110 the first string is less okay first string if it is less than the second string it returns the negative value that is 1110 minus 116 it will return minus 6 and if both the strings are equal then it will return 0 thank you so much for watching this video keep watching and keep learning we'll be back soon with another interesting video on Java topic. Till then, keep learning from A e Shiksha. Thank you so much.